Hey everyone, to my left we have quarterback Connor Hempel and coach Tim Murphy, defensive end Zach Hodges and running back Andrew Capson. Coach, when you're ready for your opening statement. Well, for opening games, just very, very pleased. Uh, thought our staff did a great job preparing our kids. We made some good adjustments at halftime and really executed the second half the exact things we talked about at, at halftime, and that was defense, we've got to get off the field. We're doing a great job in the red zone, but we've got to get off the field. We've got to get some takeaways. Offense, we've got to run the football. We've got to establish some rhythm, get the defensive blow, and uh, we did all of those things. Uh, obviously, Connor Heppel had a you know, big impact being able to play in the second half, and that really united us offensively. Kind of was that a, a back? What was, what was yeah. that, that happened on that five yard scramble to the three? Yeah, yeah so I, I like spun out of a tackle and then someone came up from behind and I guess kneed me in the lower back and then I uh, started getting back spasms, couldn't really move. So we went and x rayed it just to make sure everything was fine and I uh, just stretched it out. And eventually it, it got loose enough to where I could play with it. Can you talk about how Scott Hosh played and that led you to a touchdown in the second quarter? Yeah, I thought I thought Scott really did a good job when you consider that he never played in anything other than the JV game, never taken a varsity snap, and it just really <coughs> promoted to number two. Um, he's a very uh, smart kid. He's got a great football IQ, and uh, it's really really tough situation. The quarterback takes so much practice, so much reps, and uh, Scott did a very very solid job. Coach, uh, any update? Stanton, Zawan, Lindsey? Yeah, um, you know, those guys uh, uh, are you know, still a ways off, most likely. I think Paul Stanton would be uh, the most uh, best percentage to have an opportunity to play next week, but still uncertain. And does uh, Andrew's play, does that affect the decision? Well, um, the bottom line is that you know, going into the season, we said we're going to need to play three backs. Um, we're going to have a balanced offense and uh, get everybody their touches. And we really felt that uh, you know Andrew, uh, Samar Smith, and uh, Paul Stanton were three outstanding backs. And I was just really happy for Andrew today because uh, you know we took advantage of the situation. We kind of settled him up, put the load on him, and he and the offensive line really, really responded. Zach, can you talk about the changes you made on defense during halftime to sort of uh, limit Puyol's in the second half? It seemed like they were moving their offense at will in the first half. Uh, I don't know if they were moving at will. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I would say we honestly we felt really confident. Um, we they they tried to scheme us up as best they could, um, which uh, we know we know would happen. A lot of respect for the Holy Cross team, but um, we don't the defense. We run this like this. We just do our job. Everything will work out. Um, Coach always said three words to us. Let's go. What's the third? <laughs> 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 coach, 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 coach said we got this. Those, those are the three things. Those, that's what he said to us. He came in at halftime, said we got this, turned around, walked back out. And uh, we just knew we knew what we had to do, just step up. I'm really proud of uh, my defense, this defense, because um, a lot of a lot of young guys have stepped up this year. Um, we know mm -hmm. what happened, but this is the first game we get to hit somebody else. So. No, that's that's nice. Um, wish wish I wish I would have gotten a chance to to put some more heads on that QB, but um, I think he's a good QB. He's a great QB. Would have liked to hit him a bit more. But you know what? Like if it frees up the rest of my my team, you know we had some boys really step up. Uh, I'm really excited for uh, Doug Webb, Dubur, um, Ryan Delal had you know his first time starting. My, my best friend of Bull, you know, they, they really stepped up, you know, so I'm really proud of them. Just thankful. Zach, those two fumbles came at two uh, very big moments in the game, only crossing the lead, and you guys scored two touchdowns off those fumbles. Number one, how big was that for you as a defense? And was there any special in, uh, special emphasis on stroking the ball on those two drives? Um, 
I don't know if I always have the same perspective as the rest of the defense because I, I always see the game almost with like just a glaze. You know, each play is just another play. But um, you know, it's exciting to make turn turnovers. Um, you know, a lot of uh, some of some of my teammates used to love to give me stuff about like our production grades and stuff like that. So when you know guys get to you know add a couple points to their production grade. You know, they're always excited. Um, you know, hopefully we get a better grade tomorrow. Um, so, I mean, I'm happy for those guys. Um, you know, it's an exciting play. I try to be excited for them just like they get excited for me. Um, always keep the energy up. While we're with you, Zach, uh, the early sack came from the middle linebacker position. I'm curious, uh, you know, how you feel like you adjusted to that role and, and whether you feel like it was harder for them to scheme against you if you moving around a little bit in the two-point stance. Um, yeah, we we kept that part of the defense actually pretty light. I knew we I knew we would, but um, I mean, we'll see how it goes. The coaches wanna they wanna give me an opportunity to um, just kind of stress out the scheme for other teams. Like I said, I don't I don't know if I'll make any plays this year. Fortunately, I made one one there, but um, uh, you know, just moving around really just get opens up doors for for a lot of guys, and um, that's really that's the goal. Just make, make make opportunities, and um, we'll produce like we like we know we can. Zach, was that stress out or stretch out the defense of the the offense? Uh, I think offense is try to stretch stretch us out, but yeah, um, I love to put some stress on them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like if uh, if you're not worried about about us, then like hopefully you get. So I hope, you know, you're either doing one or the other, in my opinion. Andrew, how, how, how early in the week did you know that you'd be getting a lot of reps at, at running back? I mean, we've been going uh, all week, all the minor setback in one of our scrimmages. Um, but Saint and I were preparing, we were late Brady was preparing. championship game? Or yeah, it was just a playoff game. We ended up losing by a good margin. <laughs> Andrew, with uh, Ocean and QB, do you feel more pressure to shoulder the load a little bit since you have less experienced quarterback and some of your wideouts missing? Uh, no pressure. No pressure at all. Um, Scotty came in. He was very confident. Um, we knew we had to pick, up, pick him up, um, get him comfortable in the pocket, but he came right in and uh, led that touchdown drive right away. So uh, he did a very good job, but we thought we might have run the ball a little more, but heck, that drive we were, it was all passes. It was all him. Our offense starts with the front line, and those guys were outstanding. 